Um, thanks, Jennifer, for inviting me to Natural Co-Creators Group. And uh, I was thrilled to have an interview with, with Jennifer about a month ago, um, explaining um, my name is ICC All Things, that's my author's alias. And we talked a lot about my the book that I wrote and published last year, which was Rising from the Ashes of Jehovah's Witnesses. And that was my life experience, you know, of being raised within and then leaving that. And then we talked about my flowing into mentoring and coaching because I left 25 years ago. So I've I've had a, a lot of time to look at the way that I was um, going to start a new life when I came out and build a new, completely new social circle. And I found obviously that during these times at the moment, um, it's it is a bit similar really to some of the experiences I've had where I've had to break completely with one way of life and start another and I did that when I got married initially and moved to Switzerland and then I had to come back when I left the witnesses and leave my husband and now in this time now I'm living on my own completely and you know and just adjusting to a completely different way of being so in the meantime, uh, in the process of um, writing the second book and also um, building up a mentoring uh, business, I have um, come across this great project which I want to tell you about. And it's a conscious project and it's European Caravan of Unity. And it's two groups really um, working together. So I can just. Um, show you what they are i'll share the screen with you so one is um, a group of about 60 people called co-creating europe and this is the description here um, for the events uh, leading up to the caravan of unity which is actually to do with the World Peace Day on the 21st of September. So this group are doing lots of events in September. Nourishing a, a growing field of consciousness. In all our activities, we aim to increase the awareness of oneness of all that is, while focusing on individual and collective ways of giving expression to this deep knowing. Europe already has a great number of people waking up to a deeper understanding of who we are as human beings, creation and creators. Our concern is to bring these initiatives together and cooperate and co-create with even greater coherence. So um, we want to connect and share our experiences, techniques and create visibility in order to revive the power of the Euro European vision and the creative potential that goes with that. Well, um, considering what's happening with um, with us, you know, this it's even more poignant, isn't it, to be actually as uh, conscious beings joining with um, our community in Europe. And uh, having lived in Switzerland, you know, I I, um, I feel quite strongly about keeping those bonds. My daughter still lives there, and uh, so the event here is. Um, 20, the 1st to the 21st of September. So this this can take in quite a lot of different projects and why I'm telling you about this is I think there might be some of you that would like to take part and the, they're designing this website, it's not quite working yet, um, so that people can actually register and you can actually um, take part with your project or your business or whatever it is you think that would come in under this um, the blanket of peace and unity. So what the sort of things they're doing here is peace through spirit, dialogue, art and action among across many European countries. And um, obviously a caravan used to be a group of people traveling by ham, camel horse and later on camper vans. But as due to COVID, they're obviously not doing um, events in person 
just mostly online. We'll see what happens when we get to September. They might be able to do some. And they, this group of uh, 60 people are joining also with partners Unity Earth, the Hague Centre for Global Governance and the One Humanity Centre. So they envisage this annual celebration to grow into one of the largest collective actions for peace in human history. And the event series will be featuring a diverse delegation of social, political and spiritual change activists, peacemakers, artists, musicians, spiritual leaders and social al alchemists. Uh, we invite you to join the caravan and engage with your ideas, projects, initiatives or community and contribute to our exploration of the many dimensions of peace. So it does give an email address there and I'll put the, the links in the chat box for you. So that's, that's the overarching um, event. And then the other partner, which is how I found out about it, is, um, which I can't get to. <laughs> I don't know how you move this bar down out of the way. Um, all right, it, I'll have to tell you. It's called Emerging Proud, and I don't know if anyone knows Katie Mottram. She's North from Norfolk at the moment, and she um, has really an international network of people who believe in spiritual emergence through, you know, mental health distress can often be a spiritual emergence, and she's um, they celebrated their fourth annual. Um, event uh, this week um, with a, a groove dance and a meditation of light and um, it was really good fun so th there are events which she's now launched which are bridging with this event in September so all over the summer Emerging Proud is going to feature people who've got in some way a resonance with the things I've just told you about. So I'm hoping that uh, quite a few of your group will um, have an idea of what they might like to contribute. And if so, you know, I can give you the contact details and the link, the link in the um, chat box. So um, Emerging Proud, uh, I know, I've known about for a couple of years because um, I was approached to include a synopsis of my book story about the witnesses in the pocketbooks range that um, Katie produced for charity last year. I don't know if there were six or seven of them but they're all um, different subjects so some of the suicide or eating disorders and the one that I was featured in was trauma, trauma and abuse, um, stories of hope and transformation and hopefully that's that's what my story was all about. So I put a thousand word synopsis in there. And that was great. And so I kept in touch with Katie and, and she thought she heard about what I was doing, writing another book. And it's about spiritual emergence for women in particular, right? The rise of feminine. Looking back over history and seeing our opportunities now. And um, I also talk about all sorts of things um, that I've experienced since I've come up to Norwich in Norfolk and uh, been putting all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle together. So that's one of them, <laughs> which I'm featured on already on her blog, Emerging Proud, is um, the story of Julian of Norwich. And Julian of Norwich was um, in self-isolation as a a mystic or an anchorite in the, the cell on the side of the church in the 14th century. And she also experienced the plague, the Black Death, many times in her life. And so she is an amazing person. She was the first woman in the UK to write a book called Divine Revelations of Love. And I've created a little series, which are about 10 minutes each of a video short story in a day in the life of Julian. So I talk about what it might 
feel like to wake up in a medieval cell on the, um, and then she has visitors and you know how she counsels and gives comfort to people but the great thing about her was she actually nearly died when she was 30 of a near-death experience um, of probably the plague we're not sure but she had all these visions of Christ and really that was her awakening or her enlightenment moment and she did, didn't die obviously and she lived on um, dedicated her life as this anchorite to the church for 40 years so there she was writing away in her cell and um, it wasn't really akin to what was being taught in the church so she kept it secret and she passed it on to the nuns and uh, that was uh, they were entrusted to keep it safe and you know obviously make copies of it and it, it took a hundred years before the first rungs were found uh, and aired to the world <laughs> and then it kind of had this weird journey where it almost got extinguished in um, various different situations and and then it resurfaced and it now it's world famous and people come to visit her shrine uh, from all over the world so the story is very inspiring for women she's quite emancipated and she had an inner peace and inner way of surviving 40 years on her own um, you know just doing prayer meditation contemplation and um, probably a bit of needlework um, and you know counseling the people that would come to her little window so that she i've chosen her as my muse if you like and uh, she's she's a big part of um, my book now so those little stories are on the website on emerging proud and she's going to feature um, i also do a meditation every week called meditations of light and so those are featured on the website too so these are ways of um, you know bringing our what we're doing our business or our groups that we uh, are running you know that have got this theme of inner peace or outer peace or whatever it is that's conducive to this event um, that they're creative so they like artwork uh, I've got this artwork behind me and that's going to be featured as well in the videos and um, I've got several you know there's a statue of Julian on the side of the cathedral in Norwich so I've got photos of that and um, so they, they just want this all round um, artistic expression of consciousness, really. So that's, that's more or less, you know, how I'm involved with it at the moment. And then we could perhaps talk as a group about how we might like to organise an event. We could organise one together or just people can do a separate live event and we can we've been invited to do our meditation live in that week uh, building up to peace day on the 21st of September so the blogs are just going over the summer you can sort of be featured on the blog so that's uh, that's an invitation to you all and um, it'd be lovely to uh, co-create with you on that wow that sounds fantastic Isis I thank you for that information it's certainly pass it on to the others and see what they think about this idea i've got lots of reading here to do i love the way they're called co-creating europe and we're called natural co-creators there must be some opportunity to form some links there that's absolutely wonderful okay i'm just going to stop this now and then we can carry on chatting mm -hmm.